Right, so those are the words and the explanations. Now we take a closer look at the possible implications of Admiral Fallon's resignation. Here's Clayton Swisher. He's been wearing the uniform for 45 years, and until Wednesday, Admiral William Fallon's portfolio as U.S. Central Commander included America's thorniest issues, especially Iran. For some analysts, Fallon's resignation is a clear sign of how the Iran issue penetrates the U.S. administration. Iran and the United States are now deep, deep inside each other's spheres of influence, and there is no robust diplomacy taking place between the two. The catalyst for Fallon's early departure appears to be this magazine article. It portrays Fallon as the only person standing in between the Bush administration and a war against Iran. That was not a reputation that Fallon seemed ashamed to have. In an exclusive interview with Al Jazeera last September, Fallon tried his best to lessen U.S.-Iranian tensions. He said it was his hope that there would be no war. Months later, after meeting with Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak in Cairo, Fallon said it was inaccurate to believe that a war with Iran was inevitable. That could not have gone down well with those in the Bush administration pursuing brinksmanship with Tehran. The Iranian regime needs to know that if it stays on its present course, the international community is prepared to impose serious consequences. The United States joins other nations in sending a clear message. We will not allow Iran to have a nuclear weapon. Had Fallon stayed on into the next administration, his pro-dialogue stance with Iran would have been unpopular with at least one presidential hopeful. In that old, uh, that old Beach Boy song, Bomb Iran, you know, <laughs> bomb, 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 bomb. <laughs> anyway. Uh, the U.S. is aggressively moving to contain Iran in the Central Command area of influence, which most recently includes Syria and Lebanon. Yet Fallon's abrupt departure comes as the U.S. positions three warships, including the USS Cole, just off the coast of both. The possibility of further escalation may not end here. Vice President Cheney, the administration's leading hardliner on Iran, is expected in the Middle East next week, including a trip to Saudi Arabia. The Saudis are themselves actively trying to counter Iranian influence, particularly in Lebanon. With the departure of a man who had pushed peacemaking rather than warmongering, it may now be clearer where the current U.S.-Iran policy stands. Clayton Swisher, Al Jazeera.